getting cash around the clock, a half-century-old concept made possible thanks to the automated teller machine better known as the ATM. It was invented by Donald Wetzel, who grew impatient waiting online for his paycheck. I knew the functions that a teller did, which is basically cash checks and take deposits. So I decided that, you know, I think a machine could give out cash and take deposits, and I... And, uh, so I, that's when I first got the idea. Now 90-year-old who still co-owns the patent worked for a financial transaction systems manufacturer at the time. He teamed up with engineers to develop the machine, the price tag, $4 million. On Friday, he came back to where it all began in 1969. The first ATM was here at the former chemical bank, which is now J.P. Morgan Chase. We had no problem thinking that the machine itself would function properly. The big question was, would people use them? Use them? Today, there are millions of ATMs installed around the world in just as many transactions completed on a daily basis. In fact, the majority of banking transactions can now be done at an ATM. In this day and age, when you're constantly in a rush running around, it's much easier to just, you know, run in, get cash when you need it. Could not imagine life without it. Use it a couple of times a month, and especially the drive through with the kids. <laughs> Wetzel was given a giant ATM card and a proclamation. He even admits his wife Eleanor is happy for him, but she herself has never used an ATM. I drive up to the teller at the bank and say good morning, and they say good morning, Mrs. Wetzel, and that's the way I get my money. She's scared to death of the machine, and primarily because she was afraid it would keep her card. But of course, Wetzel made sure that wouldn't happen. In Rockville Center, Long Island, Jody Goldberg, Fox 5 News.